Beep beep everyone. Um, today we're doing 2021 Tops Archives. Um, you are met with Nathan the Gnome, our purple plastic toilet, an orange monster, and two Australian robots. Now, I had audio difficulties when I recorded this video. This was over a week ago, and I did a marathon of video recording and didn't realize that I was having these difficulties. So instead of throwing the video out uh, and not being able to redo it, because after you open these, that's it. You can't reopen them again. I decided to do voiceovers. And let's get all of our little toys out of the way and get some of these boxes out of the way. And this is my first time opening up archives. That says find three exclusive. 1989 Tops big foil cards inside. And there are all the designs available in this on the front cover. Uh, a couple of them I'm familiar with, <laughs> some of them I'm not. There are seven packs, eight cards per pack, 56 cards. In a blaster box. And there are your odds. You may pause the screen to have a look at them, and I've just moved on. <laughs> There's the no purchase necessary, which expired back in February. So that is pretty much useless. And let's get into these. And I don't know if you could hear that, but a airplane flew overhead. And there's what the packs look like. And boop, boop, for good luck. Wake up uh, Nathan the Gnome from his stupor. And... We are having problems opening the first pack, so this is not a good sign. There we go. And let's see what we've got. There's Aramis Ramirez on the 1983 design, which is one of my favorite designs. And there's Adalberto Mondesi on the 1973 design, another one of the designs that I have enjoyed from Topps History. And there's Cody Hewer, rookie card on the 83 design. And that's what the 83 design looked like. And there's a David Ortiz, Hall of Famer on the 1957 design. And there's the back of those. And there's Garrett Cole demonstrating how he holds a ball on the 1962 design and that's what the backs of those look like and there's an insert card for the family and that's Dave Parker, Willie Stargell and Manny Sanguian from the 1979 Pirates And that's what the back of that looks like. So that's a really cool card. I think Dave Parker should be in the hall. There's a, I think that's that 1980 Tom Topps big foil card. That's Estevan Florial. And I think that's the 89 BF indicates that that's the case. So that's what they look like. I'm not familiar with the originals of that 
And this one, I'm not sure what the design is. Fernando, that's Fernando Tatis, but I'm not sure what year this design came out. Um, this was probably during those years when I was not collecting. And I believe this is the 2001 design, and that's Luis Castillo. And it looks in pretty good shape. And I understand the 2001 Topps cards have issues with bricking up and as such when you try to peel them apart sometimes they suffer uh, surface destruction paper loss either on the front or backs of them and having that dark green border it also suffers the same issues that other dark bordered cards have with white showing up prominently on the corners or the edging so they're hard to to keep in good shape there's Buster Posey on the 1991 design there's Elvis Andrus and there's Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson on the 57 design and Daz Cameron on the 62 design There's Ryan Mountcastle on a 91 design um, with the Bazooka Gum logo in the lower right corner. So I think this was based on a, a small set tops made for Bazooka. And there's Dale Murphy who should be in the hall. He should have been in there a long time ago. And we're waiting for me to move on. And there's Charlie Blackman and his giant beard. And we're sort of like in and out of focus there for a little bit. And there's Edward Olivares, rookie card. I think that's the 2011 design. Uh, if I am wrong, uh, please leave a comment. Like I said, I... In previous videos, I stopped collecting in the early 90s. The last top set I bought was 1991. And then I took a long hiatus and only got back into collecting last fall. So I am not that familiar with cards between 1992 and, well, 2021. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's Tori Hunter. Okay. Beep, beep. I'm not sure what I'm talking about in the original audio. And there's Hall of Famer Jackie Robinson on the 91 design. So having old timers like that in this set is definitely something that piques my interest. There's Tyler Glass now, and uh, we're on to Kyle Isbell. And Hall of Famer Jim Tomey. And there's Christian Pache. Uh, I don't know what set that is from. Based on the numbering on the back, I'm assuming it's a set from 1969. And it's his, basically just his floating head. There's Chris Bryant on a blue parallel of the 89 Topps Big Foil design. So that's cool. And that is not numbered. And there's Mickey Moniak, rookie card. Ryan Weathers, rookie card. <clears throat> Pardon me while I clear my throat. My sinuses are giving me trouble today. <clears> there <throat> I go again. <laughs> so there's Albert Pujols when he was with the Dodgers. Jorge Soler. Andrew McCutcheon. 
Mitch Hanniger, Tarek Scooball, Matt Olson, Cody Bellinger, and Juan Soto. <clears throat> Hugh Darvish, Eddie Rosario, Brandon Lowe, Aaron Nola, Mike Trout, Hall of Famer Alan Trammell, Jesus Luzardo, and a rookie card of Jose Barrero. And there's uh, Kyle Seeger and Hall of Famer Cal Ripken, who looks good in that 1962 design. Nick Castellanos. And Hall of Famer Cy Young. From way, way, way back in the day. And it looks like it has this entire pitching career. Look at that. Over 7,000 innings. 511 wins. We will never see another pitcher in my lifetime that pitched that long. There I'm pointing out that Cy threw 76 shutouts. Ha Seon Kim. There's Jack Flaherty. Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer. Luis Garcia, rookie card. And Michael Brantley. And I seem to be perusing Michael's statistics on the back. I'm not sure <laughs> why I spent so much time on that. This is one of the reasons why my videos seem to go on forever. I am easily distracted. And it takes me a long time to get some of the packs open. Over the course of this channel's future history, I hope to improve on that. There's Jack Flaherty. I will figure out easier ways to get them open. Mark McGuire on the 1962 design. Ichiro on the 91 design. And Will Smith on the 73 design. And here's an insert card for the Swingin' A's, which features Raleigh Fingers, Reggie Jackson, Vida Blue, Blue Moon Odom, Catfish Hunter, and Gene Tennis. They were a remarkable team during the 70s. I forget how many World Series they were in. There was Derek Jeter and Hall of Famer Barry Larkin and rookie card of Ryan Jeffers. Now we're on to box number two. And we are opening five boxes of this today. Five it seemed every time I went to either Walmart or Target during the off-season, this was on the shelf. And every time I saw it, I was like, okay, I'll buy one. And then the next time I was at one of those places, okay, let's buy another one. And eventually I ended up with five of them. But I also knew I was going to like this product because I really love it when they reuse the old designs in the modern day. Because original cards from those, well, from some of those designs are much harder to get and much harder to get in good shape. 
There's Anthony Rizzo and Carlos Correa. And Joe Carter, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. And there's Will Smith again. And Jose Altuve. And the Swingin' A's again. Glaber Torres. And Braylon Marquez. I think that's what I'm seeing. It's kind of hard to see with the light reflecting off the um, the gold print. And we struggled to get another pack open. And there's Hall of Famer George Brett. Alex Bregman. Salvador Perez. And old-timer Rogers Hornsby from way back in the day. Uh, Rogers hit 400 I think three times, including one year at 424. Now that was a very lively ball era at that point. Quite a few players had topped 400 and we haven't seen a 400 hitter since Ted Williams. Sixto Sanchez, Jason Veritek. I keep flipping the 89 big foil cards over. I'm not sure why. <laughs> and Dick Allen, who should have been in the Hall of Fame before he passed away. And I think that's a shame that they didn't put him in. He sadly passed away not that long ago. Josh Donaldson and Hyun Jin Ryu. So on to the next pack. And we are struggling again. I don't know. Maybe I should dip my fingers in mashed potatoes. All righty. So there's Hall of Famer Andre Dawson, Marcus Stroman, Starling Marte, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer, Will Craig, and there's Fernando Tatis's floating head from some 1969 set I'm unfamiliar with. There's Bobby Dalback, rookie card, and... Uh, David Fletcher. All right. Yeah, finally got it open. Trevor Story. That's what the 73 design looks like on the back. There's Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson on the 83 design. That looks really nice. There's Byron Buxton having a good laugh. And Jamer Candelario. Jose Ramirez. And Yadier Molina, who's definitely a Hall of Fame candidate after he retires. William Contreras and Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. And there's Hall of Famer Ted Williams, the last player to hit 400 in a season.
Tony Gwynn came close. He hit 394. George Brett, 390, and Rod Crew, 388. Ahmed Rosario, there's 83 design with Hall of Famer Lou Brock. And there's Jordan Alvarez, who's having a great year this year. Followed by Jared Walsh. He's scaring you off with his bat, thinking it's a sword. There's Victor Robles and George Springer. Trey Mancini and Kyle Schwarber. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. There we go. Luke Voigt. Larry Doby, great player in the Hall of Fame. First African-American to play in the American League back in 1947. There's Xander Bogarts, Eloy Jimenez, Max Ka Kepler, and Uncle Larry. Andrew McCutcheon is Uncle Larry. I'm not sure what that exactly means. It's a curious card. And there's a blue parallel of Elvis Andrus. And Hall of Famer Dave Winfield, back when he was with the Padres. Followed by Zach Greinke. Who makes this face that kind of looks like he's struggling with a bowel movement while he's pitching. I imagine a lot of pitchers show some stress on their face while they're in the middle of throwing and none of them know it and the only way you ever know it is when you have a shot of them in the middle of it. There's Hannes Wagner for the longest time throughout my life I mispronounced his first name as Honus but I heard other people call him Hannes and I looked it up on Baseball Reference and the phonetic spelling says it's Hannes so I apologize to Hannes for mispronouncing his first name my entire life <laughs> and he was uh, the first big player in Pittsburgh history Paul de, de Jong or de Young uh, Paul if you're out there help me pronounce that there's Joe Adele and Shane Bieber. And there's a rookie card of Alec Bohm's head. Luis Robert. Nolan Arenado. And Zach Gallen. Who has a real full head of hair. Okay, while we're opening up this box, the word of the day is mimic. And to use that in a sentence, mimic public soap and feel the power. So it looks like we're halfway through this video. It's the longest video I've done. Uh, perhaps I should have broken up these five boxes into maybe two videos. Jorge Soler, Andrew McCutcheon, Hugh Darvish, uh, Lord, well, Guriel Jr. I'm not sure how that first name's pronounced. Lourdes or Lords? He has some funky, uh, Bluish hair there, which is pretty cool and matches his uniform. So I'm a big fan of uh, people doing stuff like that. There's Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. And there's Alec Bohm's head again. And there's Casey Mize. Adolis Garcia.
And Trevor Rogers rookie card. On to the next pack. Ahmed Rosario. There's Cal Ripken. I'm having a hard time seeing this. There's Hall of Famer Lou Gehrig. I had the cards too high up on the screen and there was too much glare on them. So that's pretty cool getting a Lou Gehrig card in a 2021 set. That was Trent Grisham, followed by rookie card of Sam Huff. And there's Vida Blue. And it looks like we have a, a line across the card there. So even today, manufacturing process is not perfect. Devin Williams. I apologize for the glare on that card. And I've got to remember to keep these in the middle of the camera screen. And we are struggling with opening up this pack again. And there's Nick Castellanos again and Jack Flaherty again. His rookie card of Jonathan India. Rookie card of Tristan McKenzie. And another rookie card, Yerman Mercedes. And there's Hall of Famer Don Sutton. And there's Christian Yelich. And Evan Longoria. And Will Clark, who hopefully will someday be in the Hall. He had a, a really great career, and he did have some issues with injuries that kept him from playing full seasons for several years of his career. Um, but he did not retire because of injuries. He retired because he wanted to raise his children. And you got to credit him for doing that. And the Hall of Fame should not use that as a barrier on why his career numbers aren't as high as they could have been. That doesn't seem fair to me. And from what I understand, his son may have been diagnosed with autism at the time. So that, that, um, that's a double the reason to put your career aside for your family. So that in itself should be enough. Since we're concerned about people's personal traits with all the PEDs that have gone on the last couple decades. Will didn't do them, and he sacrificed his career for his family, and the Hall should recognize that. So Mark McGuire, Chris Bryant, Brent Rooker, Brandon Crawford, Chris Bubik, Alex Rodriguez, Anthony Rendon, and Don Mattingly, uh, another player that should have been in the hall by now. Estevan Florial, Hall of Famer Ernie Banks, on the 91 design. Todd Helton, who also is not in the hall and should be. Tim Salmon. Murderer's Row, Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth of the 1927 Yankees. And if I recall, that was the year Babe hit 60 and Gehrig hit 47. Hall of Famer Orlando Cepeda, followed by Mike Soroka. And Deion Sanders, who both played baseball and football simultaneously, like Bo Jackson did around the same time. 
I'm not aware of any uh, players since Dion and Bo that have done that. Um, I haven't really kept kept up to date with what happened since uh, the steroid issue. There's Eric Kirilov and Hall of Famer Ron Santo, Kenta Maeda, and Hall of Famer Fergie Jenkins, or Fergie Jenkins, I'm sorry. Spencer Howard rookie card, and Reese Hoskins. Roger Clemens, who may be in the hall at some point. Jesus Sanchez rookie card, and Giancarlo Stanton. Yeah, Roger got in trouble with PEDs at the end of his career. Uh, I don't know if there was any actual evidence of it, but... Nelson Cruz, Nate Pearson, but that's why he's not in there yet. Aaron Judge, who's having a, a pretty amazing season. 46 homers at this point, on pace to possibly break the Yankees' record of 61. There's Walker Bueller and Hall of Famer Gary Carter looking rather concerned. And Jazz Chisholm Jr. on one of those bazooka cards, and this is his rookie card. And there's Hall of Famer Babe Ruth. Followed by Jeff McNeil, who's having a pretty good year this year. Yeah, I believe we're on to... Oh, there's the plastic purple toilet. Well, I'm sorry you had to wait 32 minutes to see that. <laughs> but with a long video like this, I he should have made more than one appearance. Meanwhile, we're waiting for me to move on to the next box. And it looks like Cal Ripken back there is listening to uh, some Caravan. Not sure if anyone here remembers the band Caravan from the 1970s. Um, they didn't have any hits and they didn't get their music wasn't played very much in the United States. And I discovered them many, many years after their prime but they had several decent albums in the early 70s. There's Hall of Famer Bob Gibson. And there's Corey Seager and Yvonne Rodriguez, another Hall of Famer. There's Dustin May, looking very serious. And there's Jazz Chisholm again on another card design. And there's Alex Rodriguez, also on another card design. And there's Hall of Famer Frank Robinson, and he looks pretty cool in that 2001 design. There's Paven Smith, rookie card. And Trey Turner. So it's nice you get um, more than one card of a player on different designs in here. And there's Bryce Harper on the 62 design. Pointing his bat sword in your face. Ready to do battle. Justin uh, Turner. And there's Max Scherzer with a floating baseball. Just sitting there in front of him. And that reminds me of... Uh, Magic store in Pittsburgh I was in, oh, it had to be a, more than a decade ago. And there was this gentleman that was walking around in the store, and he had a roll of toilet paper hovering midair in front of his belly button. Well, his belly button wasn't exposed, but it was, you know, where your belly button would be. And so this reminds me of that. So Max must also be a magician. And I don't know if you heard that noise in the background, but the dog 
is in the next room rolling over. <laughs> so there's Mike Yastrzemski, the grandson of Carl. There's Laodi Tavares. And the big three, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, and Greg Maddox of that great Braves pitching rotation from the 90s. Kyle Lewis and Tiascar Hernandez. Yeah, and I, I think Steve Avery was the fourth pitcher who had a, quite a few decent seasons but didn't put up the Hall of Fame numbers the other three did. Rugned Odor, which I think is one of the curious, most curious names of recent players I've seen. And I hope I pronounced that right. I did look it up. Nomar Garcia Para, who I think should be in the hall. Bo Bichette. Jacob DeGrom. Randy Rosarina. And that's Alex Kirilov. And Paul Goldschmidt, who's having a really great year this year and probably the leading contender for the National League MVP. We'll see how the season ends if he continues this pace. And there's Ozzy Albies. And Hall of Famer Don Drysdale, who made more than one appearance on the Brady Bunch. And there's Geraldo Perdomo, rookie card. Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. He's having a sort of okay season this year. And there's Hall of Famer John Smoltz. Lucas Giolito. Rookie card of Tanner Houck. Rookie card of Christian Javier. And Gio Urshela. And Thurman Munson, who I think should also be in the hall. He uh, died in a plane crash um, midway through his career. Trevor Larnach, Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn. Looks like he's about to swing the bat at my head. DJ LeMayhew. Hall of Famer Duke Snyder. I didn't know Duke choked up on the bat. And there's rookie card of Cody Hewer. And there's a floating Mike Trout head. I wonder wherever they got the idea of just a floating head. And there's Hall of Famer Al Kaline. And Hall of Famer Eddie Matthews. This set is just full of great players. Absolutely love this. I'm looking forward to the 2022 archives. And Hall of Famer Willie Mays. I mean, this is just great. There's Kohei Arahara. I hope I pronounced that right. And Hall of Famer David Ortiz. And there's Garrett Cole. And Hideki Matsui. And Christian Pache, rookie card. And there's Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson. That's a really great photo. Followed by... Uh, I didn't catch that one. And Brendan Woodruff. I think Willie something. Woodruff sounds like the name of a car. I think I'm going to 
Oh my goodness. You know how they have like automatic can openers? It's we're well due time for an automatic baseball card pack opener. Javier Baez, Jared Kellenick, Brady Singer, and Reggie Jackson, Daz Cameron, Kyle Isbell. A lot of these cards look like we've seen them before. Hall of Famer Roberto Clemente. We haven't seen him before. And Hall of Famer Harmon Killebrew. Nice. I believe this is the last blaster box. And we are now over 40 minutes into this insane video. We're half the packs I cannot open. And now there's a long pause. I think I'm doing the word of the day here, but I have already done the word of the day. Perhaps I should have two words of the day, but right now my brain is drawing a blank. And uh, I guess I won't worry about it because we are finally opening up this last blaster box. So uh, if you're still with me 40 minutes into this, uh, you must be a glutton for punishment. Or you must like this product as much as I do. And hopefully I am not boring you to tears. <laughs> Joey Votto, who looks like he's got a very similar pose that we saw in another set where he was tipping his cap. Joey likes to mop. But they show him speaking into a, a microphone. So, uh, what exactly do they mean by mop? I, I think of the mop you use to clean a floor. Eric Hosmer. And there's Dallas Braden. Oops. <laughs> Dallas fell out of the pack. Nick Madrigal. Rookie card. There's Vladimir Guerrero. Senior. While he was with the Expos. And there's an autograph. Noah Syndergaard, who just uh, got traded this year to the Phillies. So that's cool. Uh, I don't see any numbering, and there's no numbering on the back, so that's not numbered. So that's our, um, our first big hit. We did have two blue parallels which were also not numbered. Uh, now we're on to Luis Garcia, rookie card, Rafael Devers, and David Peterson, rookie card. So it takes five blaster boxes before we find an autograph. And I'm sure if I had bought a hobby box, I probably that probably would have had one in there. I, I don't know if they, on average, do, but the chances are much greater. Davey Garcia, rookie card. I hope I pronounced that first name right. There's Hall of Famer Chipper Jones. Jake Cronenworth, rookie card. Garrett Crochet, rookie card. Uh, Luis Patino, rookie card. There's a little ding up at the top, I just noticed. There's a floating head of Al Alex Kirilov. Adolis Garcia. And Adolis Garcia again. Wow. 
Something happened there that's not supposed to happen. We've got uh, clones. And I have to say, I'm not a real big fan of that floating head design. I, I don't know. It's amusing, but it gets a little tiring after a while. It kind of reminds me of Santa heads that people have used to decorate. It's like, you know, where's the rest of his body? Tim Lincecum? who I think just spotted a UFO in the sky. There's a rookie card of Andrew Vaughn, who looks really, really serious there, or spaced out. Herman Marquez. Hall of Famer Randy Johnson, showing you how to hold a ball. And if you want to know that from anyone, he's a good one to learn that from. Yadier Molina. Uh, Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card. And there's Trevor Rogers, rookie card. And Vita Blue. Pictured there with the 1970s A's. And he had a one brilliant year back then where he won 24 games. And that was Devin Williams. And I think his earn run average was 1.8 something that season. He never had another season quite like that. I mean, he did have quite a few good seasons in his career, but that one was uh, well above uh, anything else he had ever done. That's kind of like Bob Gibson's 1.12 he had in 1968. He never had another season with an ERA that low, and that that's really a, an unbelievable earned run average. Rookie card of Ian Anderson, and there's Pete Alonso and Manny Machado, followed by Juan Gonzalez, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. And there's Freddie Freeman and Marco Gonzalez showing us how Heath holds a baseball. And there's Christian Yelich, followed by Evan Longoria. So we're almost at the end. I just have a few more packs left to do. And even in our into our fifth box, we are still finding some cards we haven't seen before. So that's that's nice. There's Brian Anderson and Colin can't make out that name with that yellow text in the glare. Key Brian Hayes, rookie card. And there's Hall of Famer Robin Yount. Followed by Kent Herbeck, who I was a, a fan of back in the 80s. The Swingin' A's, that's the third time we've seen that card. And here's another Evan Longoria on a different design. And there's Will Clark again. And Anthony Rendon again. So I did not check to see how large the set was, but the fact that we're continuing to see new cards after in our fifth well, boop 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 into our fifth blaster box is a good sign. Justin Verlander, Hall of Famer Stan Musial on the 1983 design. And there's Yvonne Rodriguez and Dustin May. And Jazz Chisholm Jr. Followed by Don Mattingly and Orlando Cepeda and Mike Soroka. So quite a few of them we've seen before. And here's our last pack. So uh, again, if you're still watching this, thank you for sticking with me this far into the video. Shohei Otani, we haven't seen that one before. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Aramis Ramirez, which I think was the first card we saw in this, way back in the beginning of the video. And Mike Yastrzemski, 
Leody Tavares. And there's a Fernando Tatis floating head and Dion Sanders. And we finish the video with Roger Clemens. So we have about one minute left. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and click the like button. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'd be very happy to, to have you on board and hopefully I'll have a lot more interesting content down the road. Um, so from Nathan, the gnome and Cal Ripken and that stack of cards, we all say have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll leave you with my usual ending. Beep, beep, everyone.